YouTube. In this video, I'm going to address three particular questions. First is, anyone know how to make slotted holes? Yes, I do. Second, how? Okay, so I'm not going to read this one. I'm just going to break it down. Uh, so what this person is asking, uh, Nat, Nat, Natalie, okay. What she's asking is, uh, how do you create a connection, a custom connection, and then copy the connection to another set of beams, three beams to be specific, and then change the bolt distances and the like. I will show you that too. And the third one is, uh, I don't read Espanola, I can't do that one, but I can do this. How do you, uh, how about holes? in like a castel castellated bay okay i would i will address all those three first i'll start by the connection custom connection so basically i just made a plate i made a cutout in the plate there just for demonstration purposes and then add these four bolts so i'm just going to be realistic here so these four bolts are connecting that and this and these four bolts are connecting that and then these four bolts are connecting the rest. Now, while we're here, I'm going to answer uh, the question about slotted holes. So basically, when you make a bolt, one way to do it is double click the bolt, hold definition, round hole, change that to slotted. And change the distances as you please. And another way to do that is if you just want the hole, change that on the home tab, change that to holes, and then select what you're making the hole into, uh, where you're making the hole, and again, slot it, or whatever you want to do. So that's how you do slotted holes. Uh, anyway, so I'm just going to copy this connection to the other three beams here that I created. So to do that, you go create connection, three beams. All right, maybe I went too far. Create connection, and then select the three beams here. Select input beam number one, right click. Input beam number two, right click. Input beam number three, right click. Give it a name. Actually, ha, ha, ha. before we do that, there's a step that I missed that I needed to show you. So if you have like a cut in a plate or a beam, which is part of the connection, what you want to do is you want to double click that item, display and click features, because you want that green box to show up. It's part of the connection, so it should be selected as part of the connection. And I'll show you how. So let's do that step again. Select, right click, input two, right click, input three, right click, and then select the objects involved in the connection. In this case, it's everything here, including including the cutout, the green box in the cutout. Okay, right click. I'll go name that three stands for three beams, close, and then we are going to, so we are going to insert the connection now into the new set of beams, so to do that, again I didn't speak on that, insert connection, select the one you created, click OK, input beam number one, Input beam number two, input beam number three, boom, you have the connection. And to change things in that connection, just go allow, allow object modification, close that. And now you have your uh, bolts, and you can change the distances of bolts here, of course. Just double click which set of bolts and change that to four, boom, that's done. And maybe we'll do one more. Boom, change that. Change the type of bolts on that one. You change it from three quarters to half inch. Boom. 
now you have the connection identical except you allowed for modification in 2015 uh, you cannot copy the initial connection so if you go use the copy command and select the template it won't happen but the first connection you insert you can then copy that one onto a new uh, set of bits but the initial connection you make this one here you can't use the copy command I don't know why the first connection you make you have to first insert using uh, I showed you there using the insert and then the one you insert is one now you can copy uh, the connection and to change of course just go allow double click the blue allow and boom everything is changed and then you can modify it sorry as far as uh, uh, beams with holes in the web cast castellated beams uh, you need a power pack you need to download the power pack from right here. so and then it will have uh, all the uh, castellated beams uh, with different shapes and whatnot but in case you don't have that you know there's a workaround there's a workaround for you just pretty much just make holes in the beam yourself you know so to do that make sure you use CS is in the right XY plane so you always cut in the XY so and we're cutting into this web here so we go uh, we use that change that to holes or another way is you can use these options here depending on what shape holes you want to make you can be uh, circular or uh, what's that shape uh, six-sided shape what's it called or oh, one two uh, what's it called ah octagon I don't know one of, one, of the, one of the shapes you can make that from here but just for simplicity I'm just going to use the circle and then Click the beam. Okay, now we have the hole in there. You have the hole in there. Change the size, copy it multiple down the line, and boom, there you have it. YouTube.